I think the U.S. wants to bring it inside the U.S., make it a much more stable or regulated environment. And by doing that, it means that the institutions can start getting involved. What do investors, what do business professionals who help high net worth clients, what do they need to know about, um, about what's, what's the current reality of what's happening in, in the cryptocurrency space, in the investment space for, for all, all things blockchain? Well, I think that your listeners probably and the folks watching probably understand what a Swiss bank account is. And Swiss bank accounts kind of fell out of favor a couple of years ago, maybe 10 years ago, when the U.S. realized there was a lot of wealth being held in Swiss bank accounts. And that wasn't OK because it was wealth that wasn't being taxed correctly. Now, the U.S. government now, I think, looks at electronic wallets in a similar type note in that there's folks with a lot of Bitcoin and they're trading offshore or even onshore. And yet the government has no idea how much wealth is in these or if there's any capital gains tax to be allocated. And so they want to find a way whereby they can sort of regulate that and they can see, you know, what's in your wallet, how much are you making and what's your wealth? One way to do that is come up with regulation. And obviously President Biden's working on an executive order, but also the SEC is working on this, Treasury is working on this, and everyone's trying to figure out the landscape for regulation. The net of it, though, I think for the individual investor is if you have an electronic wallet or you're trading there at a regulated exchange in the U.S., you probably have nothing to worry about. But if you're trading offshore and the government doesn't know about it, then there's regulation probably coming down the line. Regulation being, well, maybe if you have an electronic wallet, you hold Bitcoin and maybe you have to register it somewhat or go through a whitelisting process with a registered broker dealer or someone like that in the United States. And I think that that was where things are going and that today it's a bit of a wild west. Folks are dealing on Uniswap or they're dealing offshore with uh, offshore exchanges. And I think the U.S. wants to bring it inside the U.S., make it a much more stable or regulated environment. And by doing that, it means that the institutions can start getting involved. Now, some people are going to turn around and say, well, that's not OK. You know, I, well, I like my privacy. And I think for the U.S. government, your privacy is probably a secondary issue. What's more important for them is allowing institutions to do DeFi as well or allowing institutions to come in and trade in exchanges and feel like they know who's on the other side, that they've gone through some sort of money laundering or KYC procedure. And that's where the U.S. government looks like it's moving. And whether it's going to become an edict from the SEC or uh, something that's coming from the, the executive desk, I think that you know, it's something that we all have to get used to. But it means that the bigger players are going to start getting involved. Excellent.